beautiful day out here in the Publix kitchen. And since it's St. Patrick's Day, we're doing an Irish classic, the hamburger. <laughs> but our twist is we have green inside the hamburger with olives. And I think this is such a great idea because olives are very rich in flavor and I think it will just blend well. Oh, absolutely. So we already have our chopped olives in there. These are actually green sliced olives. They're called salad olives. And I just chopped them up a little more. They have some pimento in there. So it's a nice, you know, base flavor. To it, we're gonna add some tomato and basil feta crumbles. We're just gonna add the whole thing because, I mean, we love cheese, right? Yeah, and oh, I think green. the nice part too is, again, this is part of the patty. So we're not yes. putting cheese on top of it. You can, why not? But I like how it's all together. Oh yeah. And then our go-to in the cooking school right now is actually this Greek seasoning. And it doesn't have to be used for Greek food, but it's got salt and pepper and onion and garlic and parsley and all the good things. So it's just kind of like an all-in-one blend. If it's good flavor, it's good flavor, right? It doesn't oh, matter. Absolutely. Yeah. So just for taking notes at home, for St. Patrick's Day, we got hamburgers, <laughs> but we're using Greek seasoning. But don't worry, we went green when it comes to the <laughs> olives. Full circle. <laughs> A very global entree. Oh yeah, oh <laughs> And we yeah. got Guinness over here, so right. can't go wrong with that. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna make these into some patties. Gonna do a little, little grill on them. Wanna make sure that they're nice and blended. You don't want just a hunk of cheese and then a hunk of olives. And you have a class coming up where you're featuring cooking with a lot of olives, correct? Yes, we are. It is next week. So if you love olives, definitely give that a little look-see. And to learn more about that, Publix.com, you could plan your class. Oh, yeah. So we're going to start laying these out. And while I'm cooking these, I'm going to have you start to build yours. So we have some dill cream sauce that's going to go on the bottom. You know, dill's one of those things that I always forget that I actually like it, but it brings out the flavor in so many things. You know what yeah. I mean? Like if I'm out and I'm getting like ketchup and mustard if we're grilling out, I always forget about this. Oh, yeah. And I don't know about you, but you don't really need that much because it's oh, right. got like a it's, very powerful flavor it to is. it. It is, and you don't want it to be overpowering, and you don't want to lose that flavor from this nice feta and the olives. And then we also have some sliced red onion, as well as uh, some sliced tomato. You pick your I'm poison gonna, for those. I'm going to do both, and if I have onion breath, well, then Eden just has to put up <laughs> with me for the remainder of the show, but that's fine. All right, and then we'll use the tomato over Lots here. And that one's looking pretty good over there that oh, we started yeah. a little bit earlier. And again, I like the idea of having the cheese mixed in with the patty, because yeah. then like all the fat and juices with the meat gets mixed in with the cheese. Absolutely. It's a universal flavor. Oh yeah. All right. And again, having the Guinness ready to go perfect for St. Patrick's Day. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So we're gonna give you this little burger coming over. Pro, what a pro. That looks good, wow. All right, the moment of truth. Moment of truth. That is awesome. It smelled so good when I came out here, so I knew it had to be good, but this is great. Nice, juicy hamburger on St. Patrick's Day. Did I say that enough? <laughs> <laughs> All right, to learn more, you go to Publix.com. And don't forget about the cooking class coming up, Cooking with Olives, which is very creative because it enhances the flavor of everything. Oh, Sorry, absolutely. I'm talking with my mouth full here, but it's a really good hamburger. Well, thank you. Stick around. More to come right after this.